Yo, what's going on everybody? I want to welcome everybody back. For the new people, the people that have not, make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Um, what is my channel about? For all the people that are new, um, helping people you guys create their own economy. That is, I guess that's a that's the new slogan for Gorilla Hustle for 2020 and beyond. Showing people the path of creating their own economy and breaking free step by step, moment by moment from the rat race, a.k.a. a nine to five. At the time of this video, y'all, it is the time of the Coronas, the Roronas. Talk about this virus, man. I was going to try to not speak about this, y'all. Like I held off a while. I'm like, man. Everybody talking about this damn thing and it's shutting down like, you know, it's bad when they start shutting down government facilities and things of that nature. But I wasn't really going to do this video. I wasn't really going to talk about this, man. But I'm like in the space that that I'm in in my squad. We are in the space of creating our own. So what can I give y'all, man, when it comes down to this virus? What this thing has shown me is we are living in such times of uncertainty, y'all. Like, these times right now is crazy. I'm going to pull over, man. The times that we're moving through so freaking crazy that you got to create your own. You got to create your own, right? Let me park real quick, y'all. Let's get into it. Times of uncertainty. How crazy the times are, right? Somebody shared a post on Facebook and it was it was um the dude said that the job that he working for, he literally thought this was gonna be his job that he retires from. Like this was a career job, this was the last job he was gonna ever have. And he an online marketer too, but you know what I mean? He thinking I gotta have that backup plan. He said, in this job field, the 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 company that he works for, or whatever, he's an electrician. He said he seen like, I don't want to get the number wrong, y'all, but they was like getting rid of people left and right. You know what I'm saying? Like four to 10 people. I don't know exact number, but I, I read the post. I even screenshot it and I sent it to some of my peoples and it just let me understand the times of uncertainty. During the time of this virus and beyond, if there's one thing that this, this virus has shown us as it's moved from Asia all across the world, like it's moving to different countries, different continents. The one thing that has shown us is there ain't no guarantees. So me speaking about a post I've seen with the guy um, about all these people getting fired and these people been working at this company. And that's one thing I want to leave off with. Um, these people have been working for this company, y'all for years like decades they've been working for this company and they just get let go that shows you y'all like times of uncertainty the coronavirus and jobs letting you go i think it's important a valuable lesson for 2020 is to create your own economy create your own economy there ain't no guarantees we're still teaching these children people in elementary middle school high school an old uh, old paradigm the old paradigm old path old ways go to school get a good education so you can get you a career and retire that's bullshit we don't live in them times no more we're living in such times of uncertainty y'all Come on, tell me if I'm wrong. If y'all know that the, what I'm saying is right and y'all done felt the same way, I'm here to be a voice. I'm going to speak up about this shit because I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the play. I'm seeing the chess. I'm, I'm si it's like a person sitting on the sideline watching the chess game. And you can see four moves ahead. That's me. I'm four moves ahead on this shit. And I see it and I'm like, am I the only person that's paying attention to this? None of this shit is guaranteed no more. Why are we teaching our children? I'm not saying that they shouldn't go to school to get an education. But y'all, personal 
the personal growth, personal education. You educating yourself alongside of what you're going to learn in school because almost 100% of that shit you're not going to use in the real world. Y'all know it. Math, I believe we need. Some of this shit, I believe we need. His story. Who told the story? We setting these children up for failure by them not understanding personal development. By them not understanding who they are. Everything starts from yourself. You got to understand your culture. You got to understand why you sent here from the creator. Yes. Spirit filled. God filled. Don't get it twisted. Most people don't understand. Don't even understand. If Even if they be like, okay, well, this is my purpose in life. They still don't know who they are. You have to know who you are. You have to know what your authenticity is. What separates you from everybody else that you're sitting around. The people that you associate with every day, they're your peers. But y'all are authentic. Y'all are individuals. Y'all designed for authenticity to do something specific. Most people don't even know who the fuck they are. Even if they got a goal, they got a mission, they got a purpose. They have to know who they are. We, we need to set our children up for the win. This video is about building your own economy, y'all. Building your own economy. Positioning yourself around people that are traveling and going where you're going. Everybody's their own individual self, but they're thinking how you're thinking. We got to create something because this shit is not set up for us to win. If y'all know that I'm telling y'all the truth, give me some thumbs up on this video. This system all across the globe is not set up for the average person to win. What do you got to do? Why is my brand called Gorilla Hustle? Because you have adversities. Those are walls, invisible walls and ceilings. And you have to push through that shit. That's what Gorilla Hustle is. You have to have that mentality. You have to have that daily work ethic. Every single day you got to get out, man. And you got to say, nobody ain't giving me shit in this world. Nor, nor, do, nor do they owe you anything. You got to go make it happen. That's guerrilla hustle. Don't sit and wait. Truth be told, y'all. I don't operate off of fear no more. I don't move off of fear. I do believe in preparation. But. I was sitting back and I'm like, man, all these all these people around the world and, and well, I can speak for the United States. They're going to the store, buying up all the Walmart, buying all the toilet paper, operating out of fear. Right. I asked myself a question today. Today is like the 13th of March, 12th or 13th of March. I said, but are you prepared? I said, damn, I need to get some water. If this shit shut down for 30 days, y'all, you got to be ready for whatever in this world. You got to be wet. Now, we talk, we're not talking about operating out of fear. And because the news is pushing all this bullshit, I don't even watch TV. I don't watch the news. But you can't avoid it because when I come on YouTube, what are they talking about? The damn coronavirus. I said, I'm so tired of hearing about this shit. I was not even going to do a video. This video is about creating your own economy. Let me stay on subject. I asked myself a question, but are you prepared? If shit shut down, they want to quarantine the United States for 30 days. Are you prepared? Do you have enough water to last you 30 days? Do you have enough household items that you need? Water, some potatoes, make, make potatoes, you know what I'm saying? Bread, milk. Household items, toilet paper. Do you? Are, am I prepared? I said, damn, well, I need to go to the grocery store and get a couple of things. Not operating out of fear. But we are moving in times of uncertainty. Are you prepared? Fuck fear. I don't move off fear. I trust God. I believe in a higher power. I believe in the, the grand the grand divine creator of everything. Are you prepared? Summing this video up, I will not keep it long. We are moving through such times of uncertainty. We have to begin to think, operate, and move together to create our own for our families. In closing, I ask that y'all would follow me on this YouTube channel, wherever you're watching this video. You will subscribe. I also ask that y'all would begin to send me messages and connect with me. My link for my Facebook, my link for my Instagram are beneath this. If y'all watching this and y'all in the United States and y'all need help, with rip. But I want y'all to think about something. Y'all not talking about money. I'm talking about getting prepared. Get your credit together. There's a there's an opportunity, a real business, y'all, that helped me transform my credit score from a 517, 518 
to over 600 in less than 30 days. Credit is the new money. Creating our own economy. Are you creating? We have residual bills. Why don't we have residual income? Are you creating income outside of your job? Because none of this shit is guaranteed. We're not talking about this motherfucking just this corona. We're talking about all this. Ain't nothing guaranteed, y'all. This shit is set up for some people to win and the majority of people going to lose. Unless you're positioning and surrounding yourself with the right people that's thinking and that's moving. Not just thinking. It's a lot of people thinking that ain't doing shit. Thinking ain't doing shit. Ideas is bullshit. You got to take your ideas and you got to put that shit. You got to put that into implementation. You have to turn that into action daily. Grinding. Building and surrounding yourself with the right people. Shout out to everybody that's involved with the business that I'm talking about. Repairing your credit. Transforming your credit. Increasing your credit. As well as you have residual bills. Why don't you have residual income? Getting more money back on your paycheck at your job simply by adjusting your W-4. Getting more money back on your paycheck at your job simply by adjusting your W-4. Why do we keep giving the government a loan? They're using our money, making, turning it into an asset, our money, and then giving us back crumbs. They making so much money off of our money. We loan them our money all year. Then they give it back to us in the form of a tax refund here in the United States of America. Bullshit. Give me mines. Now, I don't want to wait. How many of y'all like the fact that y'all loaning y'all money to the government? They're using our money and giving you crumbs back when you could be getting that money back on your check every single pay period, whether you get paid every week, every two weeks or once once a month. You should be getting your money back now. Why do you want to wait to get your money back so you can look like you're balling? Is that really what we're doing? You need to be getting your money back now. Think like the wealthy thing. We have residual bills. Why don't we have residual income? This opportunity can also position you to be earning a residual income simply by helping people do something that they're going to need to do anyway, simply by repairing their credit, adjusting the W-4, getting their money back, create your own economy. That's the key with this video. Create your own economy. If that's you, I want you to give me a thumbs up on this video. I want you to share this video on your Facebook, Twitter, social medias. That way people know you thinking like the wealthy thinking. That the wealthy are thinking, how can I do something one time and continue to be paid for over and over and over? Broke people, they focus on bullshit, material shit, trying to look like they paid instead of actually putting in the work like the wealthy do to get paid. That's the key. Which one are you? If you are the person that's, that, that, is, that is thinking like the wealthy thinking and you want to travel that road, you got to get yourself around the right people. You got to get yourself around the right set of mind, mindset, the right people that are grinding and thinking this way. I want you to give me a thumbs up on this video. I want you to share this video on your social media so I know you're serious. Okay? And I want you to connect with me. My Facebook and my Instagram, come over to my Facebook and send me a message. Fresh, I seen your video where you're talking about creating your own, creating our own economy, the video about the coronavirus. Because we're moving through times of uncertainty. If that's you, what I want you to do is I want you to share this video, give me a thumbs up, and I want you to come over to my Facebook. The link for my Facebook is beneath this video. Send me a message and connect with me on my Instagram as well. It's fresh, y'all. Every day you got to wake up and gorilla hustle. Come over, send me a message. I will get you the information. Um, if you are, that's for the people in the United States about transforming your credit. I have other opportunities for people that are outside of it. Because this video going to go all over the place. I know it's going to go viral. I know it's people gonna, a lot of people going to see this video. For people outside of the United States, I have opportunities that can help y'all. That can begin to help y'all transform your financial situation. That's why we're here, y'all. We're here to help one another. This ain't just about making no money, y'all. This is about positioning yourself to live the life that you deserve to live. God created us to live in abundance. If we're struggling financially, that's not why the creator created us. But we have to bind together. We got to begin to help each other and share the information that can help us transform our situations. So if you're outside the United States, I got opportunities that can help y'all as well. Connect with me, y'all. Share this video. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Connect with me. Look in the description. 
and click on that Facebook as well as that Instagram. Come over to my Facebook, send me a message. Wake up every day and Gorilla Hustle, share the video, like the video. Talk to y'all soon. Peace and love.